What's up everyone, this is Tony with Journey Crypto. Welcome back to another video. So in this one, we're gonna be talking about an important topic and that's staking cryptocurrency, which is basically just the process of locking up your crypto to earn more of that crypto passively. So uh, you are earning coins uh, while you're holding, which I really like because um, I am a long-term holder. So finding projects I really like and believe in for the long term, having staking on top of that, earning more of the coin while I'm holding anyways is just a huge win in my opinion, uh, since my overall goal is just to accumulate more and more of uh, these different projects that I do believe in for the very long term. Uh, so we are going to go over uh, which cryptocurrencies I stake, uh, different reward rates, uh, different information, different top coins that you can stake. And we're also going to talk about what it would take to get to $10,000 per month in passive income through staking cryptocurrency. So if you don't know what staking is, uh, it's basically just a way of earning rewards while holding on to certain cryptocurrencies. So only certain cryptos offer this. You don't want to get this confused with rewards programs or other uh, ways to earn crypto passively as well, like lending or something. So some uh, crypto projects actually call it staking when it's not actually staking because they're not actually contributing to the network. So that's the thing. The reason your crypto earns rewards while staked is because the blockchain puts it to work. Cryptocurrencies that allow staking use a consensus mechanism called proof of stake, which is the way they ensure that all transactions are verified and secured without a bank or payment processor in the middle. So you are contributing to the network. You're kind of being that middleman uh, service that is helping verify transactions and making this possible so uh, while staking you're actually contributing to that blockchain as well and you're being part of that making it all possible so it does help out the actual network which is why they give you rewards uh, for doing that and for contributing so the thing with fiat currency is it is centralized it does have a central authority that is running the show uh, processing and verifying the transactions making sure it continues running smoothly and the network doesn't go down Whereas with cryptocurrency, it's decentralized. So uh, pretty much anyone can contribute to the network and be part of that authority that is verifying and processing transactions. The more people that contribute, the better because the more decentralized it becomes and uh, the less vulnerable it is as well. So before proof of stake, uh, there was mining, uh, which is proof of work. Uh, Bitcoin still has mining. We do have the a uh, Bitcoin having coming up, which basically cuts in half the amount of Bitcoin going out for Bitcoin mining. Uh, so less supply coming into circulation is bullish. So if you want to learn more about staking and how it all works, I will link a few of these guides in the video description uh, going more in depth on that. So for this website, we're going to be using stakingrewards.com. Uh, this website basically gives a general overview of what cryptocurrencies offer staking, what the reward rate is currently, uh, the market cap. It has a calculator so you could get a general idea of how much you would be earning. Uh, this is a good website though if you do want to learn more about staking and uh, which cryptocurrencies you may want to be staking. So the, the main thing here is you don't want to just go for the cryptocurrency that has the highest reward rate because uh, generally the higher the reward rate is, the newer the project is, the higher risk it is. Uh, generally you want to find a cryptocurrency project that ha is very promising for the long term, uh, something that you want to be holding anyways that you believe in uh, for the long term, you think is building good stuff. Uh, and then find those cryptocurrencies that do offer staking and uh, stake those cryptocurrencies. Don't just go for the ones that have the highest reward rates. Um, although you may want to take advantage of some of those with a smaller percent of your portfolio, but uh, we are going to go through some of these top ones here and just give some examples. So Ethereum is the biggest cryptocurrency that has staking, the reward rate showing 3.6% currently, but you have to keep in mind the reward rate is constantly changing based on the staking ratio, and that's basically just how many of the coins from that project are in staking. So you can see 24% for staking, but if for Ethereum, but if that went up to 50%, the reward rate would go down. So with Cardano ADA, we can see 64% of that supply is in staking with around a 3% reward rate. I believe this was around 4.5% uh, around the last bull market. So Avalanche has a bit higher of a reward rate at 8.6%. And as you go further down, you'll notice uh, the reward rate does go a little bit higher overall on average, but it does go lower in market cap and it does get higher risk the further down you go as well. So you have to keep that in mind. I do not buy cryptocurrencies just based on the reward rates. Uh, what I look for is projects I would hold regardless and then just do staking with those projects. So we're going to go into the Cardano ADA page and use this as example and show some possibilities. But the potential here is pretty insane because you're not only earning rewards, but you're getting paid in the coin and not in fiat currency. 
So you have to keep that in mind as well when you're calculating this. Uh, the more the coin goes up in value, uh, and the higher the price goes in uh, terms of USD value, then uh, the more those rewards are worth as well. And if you're compounding, that just increases it even more. So um, if we use the calculator down here, for an example, you can see there is a USD and uh, an ADA option. We want to use the ADA option because we're holding this long term. So I'm going to put 100,000 ADA as example. If you switch back to USD, you can see that would cost $61,000. Uh, and then you can see reward rates based on the amount of time. So 100,000 ADA at the current reward rates of uh, around 3 point something percent. Uh, that would come out to around 12 ADA coins per day that you would be earning. And the USD value of that would be around $8. But that's at the current market price of ADA uh, with ADA around 61 cents. So as the price of ADA goes up, the actual amount uh, USD value of the amount you're earning is also going up. That's why I like to look at it in terms of uh, the amount of coins you're earning and not the amount of USD value that you're earning. So if you do pick good projects uh, that are really good for long term anyways, and you're compounding the earnings and uh, you're just staking it regardless, then uh, the actual USD value of your earnings uh, doesn't matter uh, that what shows on this calculator. What matters is uh, the price of the coin on the day that you actually go to sell it. So 12 ADA per day, uh, seven days would be around 90 ADA you'd be earning from staking just 100,000. And then a uh, 30 day earning would be 385 ADA and one year would be just under 5,000 ADA per year that you would be earning while staking 100,000. But if you're also compounding those rewards, it would go up a little bit. So USD value for one year staking 100,000. If you put 61,000 today at market price of around 61 cents per ADA, you stake for an entire year and a year from now, you go and sell all the amount that you earned from staking and uh, ADA happens to be the exact same price, then you would be have made around $3,000 for that year based on a $61,000 initial uh, investment that you're holding. That is assuming though that ADA is the exact same price. That's why I like to look at the actual coin amount that you're actually holding and then make that part of your entry and exit strategy as well. So if you actually sold this at $6 per ADA, you would just multiply this by 10. So you would be making $28,000 on one year of staking. That's assuming you sold it all at $6 per ADA though. So uh, different possibilities there, as you guys can see, uh, a bear market investment of around $60,000 making you, uh, ADA did go up to $6, a 10X from the current amount. Uh, and then you sold that around that 5,000 ADA that you earned from staking at $6, you would make around uh, 28 to $30,000 on that initial investment of around 61, $62,000. So, so theoretically, if you did buy 100,000 ADA today at the market price of 61 cents, that'd be a $61,000 investment. Uh, if you did stake it for exactly one year, earning around 5,000 ADA and the price of ADA was 10 X at $6 a year from now, you sold everything, uh, not only the rewards, but also your initial uh, 100,000 ADA. Uh, so that ADA would then be worth 600,000 and the rewards would be worth around 30,000, a total of $630,000 from that initial investment of $61,000 in one year. So that just goes to show the crazy potential here, uh, getting an early staking and holding out till the peak of the bull market. A lot of people do actually see crazy yields like this, and this isn't unheard of, uh, especially top cryptocurrencies in the space. Doing a 10x from their bear market price to the peak of the bull markets is not unheard of, especially if you pick good projects. So like I said, this is just theoretical, just for example, to show you guys the potential of this, uh, if these numbers did play out, which it never would. I stake very long term, though. I'm looking five to 10 years out, and I'm also dollar cost averaging and compounding my rewards. So the actual reward amounts are going up uh, much more consistently than what you would just get with flat rates like this. So let's say you wanted to make $10,000 per month uh, just from staking cryptocurrency. These examples aren't great because, like I said, the prices of the coins actually go up and down. And uh, this is just the USD value, but it would take around uh, $2.5 million to earn around $10,000 USD value of ADA. Uh, that's just from staking ADA. So that would equal 4 million ADA that you're staking, but that's assuming the price of ADA stays exactly at 61 cents. That's assuming you bought that amount of ADA 
uh, for 61 cents today. So if you bought uh, $2.5 million worth of ADA today, the price stays exactly the same. You're selling all the ADA that you're yielding every month. That would be around $10,000 per month you're earning on that. But the prices will fluctuate consistently. Uh, but going into a bull market, generally everything will go up. So it would actually be more than that that you're earning. And then the higher the reward rate, the more that you're going to earn as well. For example, Avalanche here, uh, since the reward rate is higher, it would take a lot less. So you can see $1.8 million of Avalanche bought today would yield around $10,000. But that's assuming the price of AVAX stays exactly the same when you do sell those rewards. So like I said, the best cryptocurrencies to stake are the ones that you would hold regardless because you believe in the project, what they're building. And you want to be part of that regardless. And then the staking is just a bonus on top of that. I never buy cryptocurrencies just based on the reward rates. Uh, when you do see projects promoted like that, say like a 100% reward rate or something crazy like that, uh, it's generally too good to be true. And uh, generally those projects don't have anything concrete to offer besides that high reward staking yield. And most likely that project is not going to do well in the long term. Most likely would be a rug pull. So just be very careful of that uh, projects that offer super high reward rates uh, for staking or rewards or whatever. Uh, those are generally ones you have to be more careful about. So we're quickly going to go through my staking portfolio. I'll even uh, tell you guys a few that I'm researching that I may add to that in the near future. So of course, Ethereum, it's the second biggest crypto in the space with a decent reward rate, pretty much the safest bet. Cardano ADA is uh, pretty much my biggest staking bag. I believe in this for the long term, uh, decent reward rates and high potential for the price of ADA itself to go up a lot. So if they have some uh, upcoming updates through the bull market and uh, a lot of crypto projects and NFTs start launching on the Cardano blockchain, that would be very bullish and would likely result in the price of the ADA token itself going up a lot. So while earning rewards, uh, the price of ADA going up a lot as well. Uh, Avalanche as well. A lot of games are starting to launch on the Avalanche blockchain. I do think that's high potential. It has a higher uh, percentage reward rate as well. Besides that, I'm not staking too much on this list. There is a fewer uh, small cap cryptocurrencies that I am staking, but they pretty much just call it staking. It's not actual proof of stake where you're contributing to the blockchain and the network. Uh, it's more so just a rewards program that they call staking. So since I'm big on crypto gaming, um, I do have a couple that do have rewards. Uh, for instance, Immutable IMX is one. That's the biggest gaming blockchain. Tons of games building with Immutable. Uh, that does have a decent rewards program here where uh, fees that are paid in IMX are sent to the staking reward pool and then split between the stakers. So not exactly proof of stake, but still uh, a rewards program. Uh, for holding the coin and then similar to that is apecoin uh, which is actually one of my biggest uh, i do believe in this very long term one of my top picks out of all cryptocurrencies actually because apecoin is going to be the primary currency for the other side uh, metaverse platform which is one of the reasons why i got into cryptocurrency in the first place uh, seeing the potential uh, of a cryptocurrency for a massive gaming platform like world of warcraft if they had gold as a cryptocurrency I think that's huge potential. So ApeCoin actually being that coin that's for the other side metaverse platform uh, does have potential like that. And then adopted for everything else in the Yuga ecosystem. And uh, they have a DAO where they're constantly adding new utility from people in the community. So definitely one that I think has high potential as well. Sandbox token, another gaming one uh, similar. And then uh, besides that, Optimism OP, uh, Coinbase actually used Optimism to build their base blockchain. So I think that has interesting potential uh, for the next bull market, fairly new coin. Uh, and then similar to that is Arbitrum ARB token, um, number 41 in market cap. So both of those are ones you may want to look into. I don't hold either of those yet, but definitely high potential Ethereum competitors. Uh, besides that, there's so many different other options. I would just recommend uh, going through that staking website or it's even better to just find projects you believe in regardless that you would want to hold regardless, like I said. And then if they have staking, it's just a bonus on top of that. I wouldn't go out there looking for cryptocurrencies that just have really high reward rates and uh, buy into those and stake those just because of that reward rate. Most likely it's too good to be true, uh, especially if it's over 20% reward rate. Uh, I would be very cautious of that. So another option you may want to consider is just staking your crypto through an exchange. Uh, pretty much all the exchanges offer this for certain cryptocurrencies. 
For instance, Kraken earn up to 26% yearly by staking your crypto. Uh, different examples here. Ethereum, 3-6%. to Cardano, 3-6%. to They have a bunch of smaller cryptocurrencies. They even have stable coins where you can earn around 4% per year. Even Bitcoin as well. So uh, you can put your cryptocurrency to work and uh, earn more from it. That's how the rich get richer is they put their money to work. Uh, basically, they find a way to use the money to earn passive income on that and they're putting it to work. The money is earning money as well. So you could do that with your crypto. Uh, Binance US, uh, I would recommend not using them though because they are shutting down. You can see 2.4% on ADA, so they do take a pretty big cut. Uh, but they have a bunch of small cap altcoins. Uh, Gemini as well. Coinbase has staking. Pretty much all the ex exchanges have staking to some degree. Uh, but I would check those different options out. It may be a better option for you if you're worried about security and uh, you want the platform to handle that for you. So that's it for this video on staking cryptocurrencies. If I missed any or you want me to look into ones uh, that you would recommend, feel free to comment below and I'll check some of those out. Um, I would recommend following me over on Twitter as well. There is links in the video description. I post here more regularly and I do some uh, extra giveaways here and stuff as well. Uh, besides that, I do appreciate if you guys subscribe to the YouTube channel. I have a lot of great content planned for the next couple of weeks. Uh, but that's it for this video. Again, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.